Fortification. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there cheering you on. But what if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first, we need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win. Testicles, it's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am! What did you do? It's maximum of speed! Not like it. Ah, improvisation. Keep your Keep arm! Your opponent on guard. Good strategies for people who don't hit hard enough.
Welcome to the Olympic Games. The party has officially begun. Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Archibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. <sighs> sure. Who's that? That is Doryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. Who do you think will win the most race this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancratio, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> Oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled. Before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I like to be royal. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Oh. Come here. Gives us a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics, stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pancration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on apart from the Pancration? There's javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete. So be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Avera, Don Esti!
someone signaling?
I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Need something, stranger? There were some soldiers watching me train a few days ago. Their hooting I could tolerate. But then their commander insulted my running form. What happened? What happened? I challenged him, and he lost a foot race to a girl. That's what happened. Now I am constantly being harassed by his unit. Some want to race, but others want me dead for shaming him. And you need a Mystios to kill him? Yes. The Athenian commander must fall. The gods are smiling on you. I've already done it. You do good work, friend. Here, this is for you. Happy to help. By Zeus, what's with the size of the boars in this country?
Beast Slayer. I'm glad to see you again. This boar was far harder to kill than the Caledonian one. But I've yet to meet a pig that can't be skewered. The gods chose well when they sent you to me. I follow where the gods lead, and they led me to you. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. How so? We will talk of the gods and their wishes once the hunt is done. I'll return when I have more pelts. I need to talk to him. I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water, I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented, but the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Welcome all! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pankration. I will not delay you with words. For we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! You're uh, a uh, That's uh, not fair! Uh, 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 it hurts! Uh, Where is your tough talk gone now? Why, yeah. Please! Please! Uh. That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against... Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! <laughs> The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Voriaps! <sighs> Astounding! 
To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias. Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? It's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonidaeon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be too, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. <coughs> Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. so low. Don't act. <laughs> Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce... Thief! You're on to talk, you double-dealing dog! If you don't stop, I'll kill you both to preserve the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Ionian would steal! I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. I it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there has been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. While Lelech is from Ionian stock. A grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. Huh. 
Did you see anything? No, no, not nothing. Far less than anything. So you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, eh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with dereliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. I've heard talk of ruins outside the city, and from what the guards said, the torches were heading in that direction. Thief. So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life, one where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress! Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Bakar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without a boat of you. No quarter for you! I didn't want it to come to this, but now we can forge a new future for our two families, one built on love. 
I wish you luck with that. Mistyos, would you like to learn about your future? Thank you. I would like to know what the fates have planned for me. You would! Yes, of course you would. Everyone wants their future talked by the great Uzo. Well, what is it? I see great things. Like what? You know, things. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Tell your friends. What is it with the Olympics? Everyone's out to make Drachmi. Malaka! My Drachmi! Hey! Stop! Thief! Hey! Thief! Looks like Phoebe. And as nimble a thief. I have to find her. The Sanctuary of Olympia. Where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. Hey! Come back here! Thief! A street thief. Just like Phoebe. You led me on a good chase. But I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drug me. Give it back. Here, please, don't hurt me! They made me do it! I didn't want to! Honest! <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. But the captain will! Stand captain? Yeah, it's him that makes us do this. Us? The other street kids. Why is he making you steal? For the drag me, stupid! You should be more polite to adults. Why? What have adults done for me? Fair enough. Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. This area will...
You're supposed to bring me Drachmi, not excuses! Huh? I see you! What's that noise? Keeping children in cages? Whoever did this will pay. This must be Maya's necklace. Malaka kept it on him. There's that Malaka I saw in the market. He must be in on this scheme. I should return to Maya. Let's go! Huh? Ella. got something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! What happened to Alopex? You know, the guy who distracted you while I nabbed your purse? I spared him. He's promised to help you, and the others. Good, I always liked him. He used to share his food with us and stand up for us when the Athenian got mad. You'll do fine. Take care. Thanks for saving us from the Athenian. Now we get to keep everything we steal. Huh. <laughs> 